And um, uh, not to say there aren't artists that are doing that now, but those are, more often than not, those aren't the artists who who are getting it rewarded financially. The interesting thing, I also piggyback on. So like this funny. is the point. <laughs> right, this is the point. So it's, it's a different, you know, it's a different. And what I get reminded of is that when I go back to when I listen to like Run DMC early on, and think of what my dad was listening to when I walked in. Like, dad, listen to okay. it's tricky to rock the run, to rock the run, and run on time. It's tricky. It was probably very elementary. Yeah. You know, and I was like, so he gave me room to grow. Yeah. And eventually, I started grabbing, you know. Curtis Mayfield and figuring out how, how to get it back complex and stuff like that. So I think we have do also have to give the youth a little time to find you. I, I know I knew when she asked this question, we we would be on this for a while. But I mean, I, I also think that um, technology um, has become more of a, 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 a crutch to creativity. So uh, once again, old oh man, old oh man. <laughs> When I was learning how to do my thing in the studio, uh, there was no such thing as auto-tune. There was no these little uh, shortcuts so that don't, don't spend so much time on trying to actually be good. We got you, we got you. So it's like when I'm in the studio or I'm back home like practicing and rehearsing and rehearsing so that I can actually go into the vocal booth and do it, uh, like you said, like I like like that whole that whole reverence for the music is, is is somehow galvanized in the soul, right? So while we're creating music, we appreciate the realness of all those strings and all the and all and all the effort that were put into that. But effort is like not uh, there's there's not as much reverence for effort now because everything is just so easy. Effort is my favorite word. Yeah, bro. Favorite word, right? Yeah. So it, it, it is tough. I remember my first time. Do you remember your first time experiencing all of this? I, I, I'm not even going to say the producer's name, <laughs> but it was someone who was a legend. And and he asked me to come by the studio to because um, he was working on something. And uh, I have. Heard, I heard the auto tune and I was like, wow, this should be trip, man. Yeah. Folks ain't even gonna be no more. And I remember going to his studio and he's like, all right, we're gonna take the vocal. And I put the cans on and as I started singing in the mic, I realized, what in the shit? <laughs> and I was like, yo, uh, and I, I, I couldn't, he was like such a legend. I, I, it wasn't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In word, what, what is this shit? I could talk to him like that. I was like, excuse me, excuse me. Is it what plugin do you have? I kind of knew, but like, what? You got some kind of special plugin on my mic right now? I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I just got there's there's a lot of stuff I want to do. <laughs> uh, like I said, I just don't want to spend all day doing it. But uh, one of my interests has always been uh, writing stories, and I'm like a nerd who would read science fiction and come up with stories and write things. And then when COVID happened and we did the tour, I uh, I took one of those stories that I wrote, and I got some bread from uh, a very wealthy benefactor, and I, and I said, Yo, I want to I want to shoot a short film of one of my stories. And uh, I did, and then we ended up shopping that short film, and the All Black Network picked it up as a, as a series, and it's called Snap, and you can stream it now. It's an anthology, which means every episode is different, like the Twilight Zone, but it all deals with uh, ethical, moral uh, challenges that we're all dealing with uh, today from uh, gun rights to uh, abortion laws to Black Lives Matter to uh, Willie Lynch, uh, to all kinds of stuff. So um, check it out, Snap. When will you be able to see it? Now, it's streaming now. Oh, um, and the network is called All Black. You can go through Apple TV and check it out. So, so do a duet album. Uh, and uh, 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 all of my favorite female, why, why do you say that? Are you about to do that? No, no, I was waiting for the invite. I was waiting for the invite. No, female. Yeah, female. Female. Oh, female. 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 If I'm not mistaken, your pronoun is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, female. 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 Female.
Yeah. So, so when I get back home, it, uh, I, I'm either going into the dinner on the schedule, it's either going to be me and Shaka or me and Faith. So, so yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, I'm so excited. So it's like, um, uh, I'm gonna speak the ones that say yes. So if y'all run into them, y'all can say, y'all can say, I can, I can't wait till you do that song with Eric. So y'all remember, these are all the ladies that said yes. Uh, uh, Shaka said yes. Faith said yes. India Ari said yes. Legacy said yes. Uh, to me, up me, to me, I'm going to do something uh, I'm a huge fan of Corn Bailey Ray, and I, I ambushed her on the elevator, and I'm like, you know my duet record. She says, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. All right, just get away. So, we're going today, and it's happening now. Now, give me the microphone. But, uh, no, I'm really excited about that. Nice. Yeah, I can't and write eight songs. But, uh, um, you know, I, I, I was teaching at Berkeley College of Music in Boston. Whatever. No, no, no. What I'm saying was, I've been preaching. I've been preaching this thing called uh, find time to find time. Wow. Right. And what I would tell you is, over the pandemic, I was as busy as I've ever been in my entire life. And, and now I'm at a point now where I have to start practicing that fine time and part, right? So I, I told them I'm taking a year off. I'm probably taking more time off um, just so I can find what is there, what what the room to find it. So what I'll tell you that um that I, first I'm writing two books out that, that uh, <laughs> uh stop, stop it. And I'm gonna speak it now so that we can make sure we, because I'm writing one, one book is, is taking songwriting lessons and applying them to real life lessons. And that book is called Getting Out of the Way of Yourself. Wow. And then the other book I'm writing is called Read to Your Full, Write to Your Empty. Mm. Write to Your Empty. I like and, that. Uh, so, so really, just leave room to do that. And, and in writing as well, I'm doing a, a project right now that's really dumb called Pin Game with Dana. Avery Sunshine's husband, Dana, and our really good friends, and we, we're making like a comic album. Like a, it's not even me, it's, it's a guy named Pin Game. And we're writing some really, really fun songs. And what I would say, if anybody's interested, I have a thing called The Process, where uh, it's about 800 people that subscribe to follow me in the studio, Rose is one of the members. And uh, so every idea I make, you get a copy of it, you see the process of it as we're making it. And uh, all you have to do is go to jointheprocess.com to, uh, to see what we're working on. So, first of all, for the man who's sitting here, when I grow up, I want to be like you. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm teaching a class at Berkeley oh, yeah. and, and Harvard and, 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 no. and my, my ninth book. Love.